Hello everyone, this is going to be the second best of three of the Intel Extreme Masters Season 1. It is still the Group A, it is still uh, the first play day and in this best of three we're gonna see the Czech undead player uh, Giacomo who's spawning here in uh, dark green in the bottom right spawn position of Turtle Rock against the uh, Belarusian Night Elf player Nightwolf who's spawning in the bottom left spawn position and uh, we're gonna see a close spawn here on Turtle Rock and as we can already see Nightwolf is going for Moonwell and Ancient of War so we're gonna see a tavern hero built by him um, as always first hero that comes to mind is the Beastmaster uh, back then Beastmaster Panda and a lot of Dryads were basically the meta game against uh, the Undead's Gargoyles on Giacomo's side, we do see Crypt, Altar, and Sigurat, so, uh, so far, probably going to be a ghoul build order, uh, just given that uh, he went for the very early Crypt here, Shop is now coming, Nikolai is gonna do some scouting, and he's gonna find the opponent at the first position he checks, which is gonna be the close position, Altar is now in production, as well as the second Moonwell, uh, very defensively placed second Moonwell here, and of course, very close to the forest as you know the knight elf is expecting gargoyle harassment eventually on here two wisps now leaving the main probably one to yeah want to scout the close position one to uh, go towards the middle uh, to pick I up the bro, first hero from the tavern and it actually is a good build order as we see the second cigarette going up and no graveyard so far that night is already more than halfway done and the wisp right now waiting in front of the tavern of course the acolyte has seen that this is a tavern hero build first archer already out second archer yeah almost halfway out as More well shop finished that night is going to be out in a second and we'll see More if he's gonna start building. with some creeping or if he's gonna go for some aggression immediately picks up the rod of necromancy and the dust of appearance and actually is the dark ranger first for night wolf so not the standard Beastmaster and Giacomo decides to go for some creeping at first so not going to get aggressive immediately he picks up the mantle of intelligence uh, Coil actually dodged here with the uh, detonate nicely done by the Night Death player uh, therefore denying a bit of experience from that Death Knight what's the Dark Ranger getting here Slippers of Agility, so actually pretty decent item drops for both of the players. Um, the Dark Ranger, of course, is an Agility hero, and therefore she will gain three uh, additional damage points to uh, every hit she's doing with that Slippers of Agility DK. Scala stay back, wasn't really able to do any damage so far. Tech not yet started by Shakomo, he's got three, five, six ghouls out already, a seventh ghoul coming right now. Might eventually go for this Wisp as he just scouted it with the DK who passed by um, Nightwolf's tech already started a couple of seconds ago taking with only two moonwells quite a bold choice given that this is nice close man. position but uh, then again he's got that dark ranger which early on of course uh, helps a lot against the wheel pressure and once he gets that snowball effect going um, you know he's gonna be able to pick off the goose one by one very easily but the goose actually at this point only want to get a good position around the archers and given that they are in front of the Undead's main base. <laughs> There's no reason to, um, you know, go into the Night Elf's main base at the moment. That Knight is now coming down. Of course, he'd love to have the aura. At this point, the Archer here might run into trouble eventually, especially since the Death Knight does have the Dust of Appearance already. First school taking a bit of damage. Dark, um, the Archer is gonna need one more hit since, um, She's also taking reduced damage by uh, spells thanks to Elune's Grace. He's able to wake up the creeps, but the uh, experience is going to the Death Knight who finishes this archer with a coil. Is the Dark Ranger gonna get a ghoul in return? She is. Our warriors have Other than that, uh, Shakomo already forced these archers back. Nightwolf got all of them out alive except for one, so uh, pretty even trade. Tier 2, okay, in the meantime started by um, Shakomo. Getting a graveyard in production, no second uh, crypt so far. Dark Ranger Scatter pull back, of course, unless he gets a pretty amazing uh, position with these archers, he's not necessarily gonna want to fight against the ghouls in an open area. Even though it's still pretty doable in terms of micro, as long as there's no unholy aura. And there's the second crypt, so we're gonna see gargoyles by uh, Shakomo. In the meantime, fifth archer again in production. Hunter's Hall coming. This might be a few seconds too late. 
third uh, Moonbell coming as well. And of course, yeah, Shakomo's take way ahead here since... Uh, excuse me, Nightwolves take way ahead here since Shakomo invested into so many ghouls early on. Didn't really get anything out of him so far. Uh, he could try and cancel it here, two blinks right now. But there is already a panda and with the Dark Ranger and these five archers, Nightwolf would be able to do a ton of damage to the ghouls. And he decides not to do so, just going for the turtle uh, camp in front of his main base. Which of course is not too hard to creep with the number of boosts he's got right now. Dark Ranger is finally gonna reach level 2. Did he pick up his sentry wards? That's gonna come in handy. Um, could place one, you know, right in front of the undead base or in between the bases to um, get a bit of a better idea as to when the pressure is going to hit him. DK is gonna find a very crucial item here potentially, such as a greater mana potion for example. Oh, Wisp is coming in. Is he gonna detonate? He is getting a bit of extra experience and potion of invulnerability. Well, I'm assuming he's not going to be focused too drastically in the upcoming fight, so I'm not sure how of how much use that's gonna be. Maybe for a for a lich second, it could come in handy. And it's all about the main turtle right now. Giacomo staying nearby. Of course, the Sentry Ward by Nightwolf here sees uh, the undead moving around. Um, on this area in front of the natural expansion and he's even he's pulling back very very far here coil of course is available but he could try and deny it with a uh, nicely timed silence Your building is complete. Your building is so the laws are up right now as you can see it who finished a very quick lich for him so he's not gonna stay on uh, the death knight only and try to do some hit and run like many undeads do so getting that Your lich pretty early on Shakomo, yeah, taking a bit of damage on his ghoul. Of, co of course, both of the players would love for their opponent to go for this turtle. Um, and in the meantime, taking damage by them. Breath of Fire completely missed there. First Gargoyle is joining the army right now. Of course, uh, that's going to provide the undead with a lot of scouting information uh, since he just needs to place them over the forest, for example, here to uh, get a nice idea of where his opponent is at any given point in the game. Once again, Dark Ranger Our pulling back. Dryads, right, looks like the rally point has been misplaced. And maybe Nightwolf is sick of it, going around the bottom here, in between the turtle and the undead, and Giacomo just pulling back for now. Very stalemate situation for the past minute or two. Just look, tier 3 tech-wise... Oh, actually, Nightwolf is going for a tier 3 tech very quickly and not, apparently, not willing to go for this, uh, mass archer play. And I think the silence, uh, mass drive player, of course. I think the silence missed and therefore Coinova gets the kill on the turtle, but the panda picks up the wind of mana stealing. Next coil healing one of the, uh, gargoyles here. Still only two gargoyles out for Shakomo. A bit surprising. And Shakomo actually went for the tier 2 expansion here. At least getting the cigarettes in place right now. First of the gargoyles has gone down. First of the archers is gonna fall in a second now as well. Second gargoyle already down as well. So it's only ghouls plus the heroes against a couple of range units plus the night elf heroes. But so far it's looking pretty decent for uh, Shakomo. I'd say, you know, given that these uh, cigarettes are already up and he's gonna have a two spirit towers up in uh, just a couple of seconds. And of course, those are doing very well against Dryad aggression and therefore Nightwolf probably at least in the next couple of minutes not going to be able to do too much but then again he's already on his way to tier 3 so bears might come into play eventually one of the dryads yeah, probably going to be taken down by the reinforcing gargoyles now it's two gargoyles two ghouls even though one of them is going to fall in a second against basically just the heroes and one dryad which is nicely blocked by the DK here and now Nightwolf down to only his heroes is definitely going to have to fall back there's still no staff on either the Dark Ranger or the Panda, and the Panda is probably even gonna fall as well, so a very, very good... Nah, is he gonna get it? Yeah, he gets it. So a very, very good fight for Jacomo, already getting level 2 on the Lich. First two bears already out, Rally Point still misplaced as the appears. Three bears or uh, even out already. Fourth one coming, Master Upgrade coming, so I'm assuming we're gonna see a push against this expansion <laughs> pretty soon. Expansion not even in production yet though, so it's only the two um, Spirit Towers. And even though these bears are not master yet, there's not really anything that Shakomo can do. 
Yeah, you would have coil available, but no Nova to follow it up, so not really enough damage output to nuke out a single bear. Gargo is... Oh, he sells the Spirit Towers, actually, so he doesn't dare to uh, keep this expansion up. I'm assuming, given that his opponent is tier 3 already and does have the Master Upgrade already, which would make holding this expansion a very, very difficult task, and he decides not even to attempt doing so, going tier 3 instead, and Agrolytes, yeah, back at the base, but for now, uh, Shakomo just has to try and you know, get into a later stage of the game safely without, you know, being crushed by bears. The panda, where's the altar? There in the back. Panda is going to be back in a second. Dark Ranger is already going to get close to level 4. Panda is now out first of the wisps. Ah, not micro carefully enough here. Dark Ranger gets a parry of vitality. Maybe uh, he should give that to the panda as he's going to be... Uh, the target of Colnova, Dark Ranger, of course, cannot be coiled by the decay. One of the archers being picked off here as well, or is he paying attention? He is paying attention, getting to the moon well in time. Doesn't even have to use it though, thanks to Retrain And now it is Shakomo's time to get the hell out of there. It's 42 supply for Night Elf, uh, for Night Wolf against uh, 40 for Shakomo right now. Coil is just in time, so Breath of Fire plus the focus is not enough to take down the. Um, the Lich still, uh, Nightwolf hasn't scouted this expansion being sold. Right now he's gonna realize it as he was about to push and we'll see if he's gonna dare pushing into the main already or if he's just gonna sit back and go into a longer game. Nova going on, I believe, a Wisp, which uh, was chased out of the main base by the Gargoyles. Panda still only level two and a half, got the orb though already. And at the moment there's not really any more that Giacomo can achieve here. There's still mana on the Death Knight. Once again, Koi comes in time, but yeah, I guess he's winning a lot of time in which um, Nightwolf could use his tech advantage to creep or in which uh, Nightwolf would want to use his tech advantage to creep but doesn't get the chance to do so. Maybe he's distracted a little bit easily here. Gargoyle is once again flying in, no tower whatsoever by Nightwolf. Once again, Panda is being staffed into the main but uh, Gargoyles are reacting properly and therefore Panda doesn't get in range to do a Breath of Fire. And actually there is the Ancient Protector coming in the meantime, Tier 3. Almost done. Slaughterhouse finished already. So yeah, we'll see if we're gonna see a tech switch here by Shakomo or if it's just gonna be, uh, you know, statues to uh, help the Knight of uh, the Undead Army regenerating both hit points and mana points. So Ancient Protector cancelled, one Wisp gets detonated, the other one doesn't. Third one is gonna reach the Moonlight in time. Again, Panda being staffed, still not level 3, even though he grabbed the uh, Goblin Merchant here. And Pendant of Energy, and he leaves the items, just wants to head back apparently to you know, ensure his uh, main base's survival. Just taking a quick look at his lumber resources. It's more than 400, so this tells us that this harassment hasn't been too successful. Panda finally level 3, thanks to another killed gargoyle. And what's he getting? Yeah, just uh, one statue for now. New gargoyles. Still both of the players not breaking over 50 supply. Let's see, is there a Moonwell coming? New Ancient Protector, but it seems like... Okay, there's a 60 supply Moonwell. So Nightwolf eventually will go over 50 supply, but not for now. And also no 60 supply cigarette coming for now for uh, Shakomo. But he's got the orb. He's, you know, getting more gargoyles. Let's see, stone form upgrade is. I'm assuming it's gonna be researched eventually once he hits 50 supply. And he's just gonna fall back right now. Creep level 4 on the DK, level 3 on the Lich. Meanwhile, Knight was getting the first red camp already. Now picked up these items. Pendant of energy, of course, great for the pen. Now, boots of speed also not gonna hurt against the gargoyle harassment. And let's see what uh, the items here are going to be, it's gonna be Tome of XP and uh, Medley of Courage. Well, I guess it's nice for the Panda, but of course an Aura would be much more helpful. And for uh, Shakomo, Summoning is complete. did he find the Boots of Speed there? I'm assuming that he did, because there's not really any point in buying them on the DK, since uh, you know, he's got the uh, Unholy Aura and the Ogre Lord on the top right, in the top right corner of the map, drops no XP tome, and 
some item that is well hidden under the storm of knowledge. Close attack plus 12 for the Lich. Uh, also nice <laughs> clarity potion even left behind here. So maybe he's eventually gonna wanna pick that up. Strangely enough though, still has plenty of item slots available on his hero. So that is a very bizarre by Nightwolf. Level 4 on the Panda. Dark Ranger 4.5. And expansion coming by Nightwolf. So yeah, the mid game has gone very well for him. I guess just his choice to go for this tier 3 tech uh, was pretty much a blind counter to this <laughs> very greedy tier 2 expansion given that it's close position by his opponent. And that's put Giacomo in a pretty tough spot already. It's like he's again gonna wanna get aggressive. Sentry Ward here sees everything for a Nightwolf though, sees the entire Nightlife army passing by Research and the Watcher Ward here is going to see the Undead army approaching his expansion and maybe he's even gonna cancel it in time, he does not, I mean in time before the Undead army arrives, he doesn't, he cancels it as the Gargoyles attack it, but at the same time he's getting another red camp here, getting Boots of Kel'Thalas, again another nice item for the Dark Ranger, gonna boost their, uh, her agility by another 6 points, so plus 9 damage on her end, some really nice attack speed, and of course the Dark Arrow supplies even um, more damage output, so more and more harassment by Giacomo, but then again Nightwolf is, um, you know, he's got his tech buildings in place, so he doesn't need any more uh, any more lumber at this point, of course. He definitely wants to break into uh, low upkeep at some point. Now he's lost his 60 supply move well again. Another one is coming in the back, but he cannot, he cannot produce any units, even though he is at 1300 gold and the Research. next move is gonna be cancelled. Silence going on the DK, but he just cannot spend his money here. See the panda just continues creeping. He's gonna get level 5. He's got the town pole, so I'm assuming once he is level 5, he's gonna wanna join the dark range here in uh, defending his main base. It's gonna be level 4, 5 against 4, 3. 46 supply against 48, Shikomo also saved up a ton of gold, so neither of the players, even though it's very tensed here, is willing to go into uh, the low upkeep so far, I think that was the shop that went down, yeah, that was the shop, and Gago is heading back, so yeah, given that Shikomo is also, or also has saved up plenty of resources already, also not getting a 70 supply as Sigurat, second slaughterhouse coming for him, so I'm assuming it's gonna go into a tech switch, uh, probably uh, Dark Ranger needs to be careful here. All the Moonwells are actually empty and she's got a heal scroll. Not sure where that healing came from, so apparently not all the Moonwells were empty. And Panda has used the Town Party in order to save the Dark Ranger and with the level 5 plus the Bears plus the Dryads, 2-1 upgrades as well already for the Night Elf. He's gonna be completely safe against this aggression. Uh, as I just pointed out, there's gonna be a tech switch here, probably Abominations and Destroyers against this uh, bad riot army of the Night Elf player. And now it seems like the tide is gonna turn and Nightwolf's gonna be the one to put up the pressure. Of course, bre with uh, multiple breath of fire, breaths of fire, he's gonna be able to do more and more damage to this Night Elf base, uh, to this Undead base. So um, yeah, the pressure right now to deflect this push is definitely on Giacomo, who's got three years scrolls, so he's prepared uh, against this panda, now the potion, oh, he's not using the Greater Invul potion, I was just about to say the potion of Greater Invulnerability is gonna come in handy as the Death Knight was getting lower and lower, but he didn't get to use it, horrible mistake by Shakomo. and this might even turn this push into a potential game-ending move by uh, Nightwolf, more and more uh, Gargoyles are going down, the Rubian Tower is about to fall as well, next Breath of Fire is gonna do bl plenty of damage to both the ghouls, and the Gargoyles first destroyer is on the field right now. First Abomination as well. Lich has turned level 4 already. Death Knight's not even being reproduced and he's not getting anything in the range of the uh, tavern in the middle. So this is looking quite horrible for Shokomo at the moment. It's 45 supply against 16. He's just lost everything and he's got 1400 gold. So he definitely waited way too long with breaking into low upkeep here. Now of course producing... Um, as much as he can from those slaughterhouses, Death Knight is being reproduced right now. Uh, one skeleton being sacrificed by the Lich here. He's got mana for one Nova, but as long as the Panda stays passive here, he's not gonna die, especially since there is this death of preservation on um, the Dark Ranger. The skeleton being killed here is just trying to do as much damage as possible. Panda can even go in for another Breath of Fire. As I mentioned, he can be staffed out. 
<laughs> by the dark range, he can even just walk out towards the left hand side. Another two bears coming in, but those were, uh, you know, saved earlier, so they didn't have the mana to cast Rejuvenation on the Panda, therefore Panda had to be staffed. And it actually looks like with those two eliminations, um, Giacomo might just be able to push Nightwolf back for just a moment, at least until the Panda comes back, and this Panda is so close to level 6 already, which of course isn't going to make things any easier for Giacomo. Death Knight on his way back, expansion coming in the top right corner right now, I'm assuming that's not going to be scouted anytime soon, Rejuvenation going on the Panda. Uh, he's got 123 mana, so if he decides to use Breath of Fire, he's not gonna have the mana for the ultimate. He doesn't care though, just going for the kill on the Abomination. Not quite level 6 yet, Nova going into the bears, but it's 4 bears, 2 heroes, 2 drives against the Lonely Lich. Second Crypt, uh, sec yeah, second Crypt has already gone down. Another Abomination coming out. Breath of Fire doing so much damage. And with the next kill, this Panda is gonna reach level 6, which is the case now. He can staff him again if he wants to, and he's probably gonna be forced to do so. Next Abomination is gonna fall. Death Knight's gonna be back in a second. Which is nice, because the Lich is about to run into trouble. And it looks like the Lich is probably gonna fall before the Death Knight comes. Heal potion used. Lich is taking more and more damage. Level 6 on the Dark Ranger as well. Shokomo leaving the game. Nightwolf taking this first game 1-0 lead for him in the series. And as I pointed out while the game was going on, I think the main factor was this very greedy attempt on going for a tier 2 expansion. And then, you know, of course, with uh, Spirit Towers and Ghouls and Gargoyles, it's very hard to hold such an expansion against Dark Ranger and several bears. I think there were five bears out already uh, when Shakomo, uh, when Nightwolf was gonna go for the push. I think five bears and two dryads. <laughs> Excuse me. And then, I guess, after basically um, not going through with his initial plan and backing off and changing strategy when he already kinda committed to this expansion. His tier 3 tech was extremely late, his heroes were not too well leveled and he f uh, he fell behind further and further against the tier 3 knight dev who was of course able to creep very quickly with bears. Uh, he was just in such a rough spot and then against the push with a level 5 panda uh, losing this DK which of course took a long time to be reproduced and he also waited for a while to reproduce. Maybe he was thinking about, you know, going to the tavern for a second before he decided to get him back at his altar. But once the DK went down, he, he was basically even further behind than he was before and that was just too much to handle and uh, he wasn't able to come back from that.